man once serving a life sentence behind bars and later found innocent finds himself back in jail tonight. Records show the state has been paying Lydell Grant since a court of appeals declared his innocence. But will the state continue to pay him for the wrongful conviction as his new murder charge plays out? ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has been looking into this all afternoon, Brooke. You're right now, Grant is behind bars on a $1 million bond. Whether he makes bond or he stays behind bars, he's going to continue getting paid by the state unless he is convicted in this new murder charge. 46 year old Lyadel Grant is charged with murdering a 33 year old man during what police call a road rage shooting on Hiram Clark last week. Grant is the same man who in 2019 made national headlines. Our cameras there as he walked out of jail after being sentenced to life for murder. I feel free now. Grant was convicted of stabbing a 28 year old to death at a Montrose bar in 2010. In 2021, a Texas Court of Criminal Appeals officially declared his innocence. New DNA testing didn't match and a new suspect linked to the crime confessed. According to the National Registry of Exonerations, Grant is owed more than $670,000 for the wrongful conviction. Cassandra Jew with the Texas Innocent Network at the University of Houston says Texas makes annual payments, so he hasn't received all of it just yet. Texas is actually the most generous state when it comes to a compensation statute of the entire United States. It provides $80,000 a year for every year the person has been in prison and $25,000 a year for every year the person has been on probation, on parole. As Grant finds himself back behind bars charged in another murder case, Jew says he'll keep getting paid for the wrongful conviction while his recent charge plays out in court. Until either uh, there's a conviction through a plea bargain or through a trial. The payments remain ongoing. If he is convicted, Jew says the statute does not require him to pay that money back. And the Innocence Project of Texas played a major role in helping Grant prove his innocence. We reached out to them. They sent us a statement saying they are saddened by this news, but they are standing by his exoneration. We're live outside the Harris County Jail. I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. I'll know what